today I want to go to part three of that. We'll hear from this uh, subtitle, Living Under Color. And you'll see how that come to manifest, Living Under Color. T tell them, tell somebody I'm an undercover son. I'm an undercover son. Genesis 2.25, all of this be quick with you. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and they were not ashamed. You understand? You see that there's nothing um, ugly about that. By the time we get to chapter 3, verses 9 and 11, then the Lord God called Adam and said to him, Where are you? So he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. Good morning. <laughs> All right. I was afraid because I was naked. That word afraid there again, as we know now, means the same as ashamed. Different words, but it has the same meaning. I was ashamed, afraid, ashamed. And I was naked. So we go from being naked and unashamed to naked and being ashamed. I hid myself because I was naked and I, I went on to hear. So God asked the question, who told you that you were naked? Of course you knew the rest of it. And, and the woman said in response, the serpent deceived me. The serpent conned me. The serpent manipulated my mind. And I ate. He didn't overpower me. He simply deceived me. He manipulated me. He conned me. He tricked me. And I was deceived. Or well, deceived is intentionally imposed a, imposed a false idea to gain an advantage. So it was a setup. He set me up. Right. Uh, he defrauded me, cheated, cheated, cheated me out of something. Misled, con, robbed, victimized, tricked, or manipulated. We learned from the previous messages that what he really did, and when you translate and break it down, which I've covered already. He assaulted her and attacked her. Not just her, but he, he assaulted and attacked, attacked her self-worth. He distorted her image of herself. He perverted that. My Lord. And, and let me tell you, assault here is, is a form of abuse. So uh, another way of putting it is that he abused me. And abuse can be physical, yes. battery, assault, <laughs> so battery. It can be verbal, abuse with words. It can also be psychological. Yes. Mm -hmm. So people abuse you in many ways. When they talk down to you, that's a form of abuse. They, yes. they discredit you. Mm -hmm. When they call you out your name, that's abuse. Yes. So, so we, we understand. And, and if you listen to enough of that, it will, it will develop a poor self image mm -hmm. if you accept it and tolerate it and allow it words do 
hurt and uh, affect how you see yourself, how you view yourself. So, so he beat up that verbally, psychologically, and we'll show that in a minute. He assaulted me, he attacked me with words, he abused me so that I couldn't, I couldn't see myself or who I am and I, I began to see myself as a victim of abuse and sometimes that can be so normal so you think you confuse abuse with love. Hmm. Come on now, ain't that make it play? Yeah. Wow. You think that's yeah. what love is? <laughs> yes, Lord. Somebody talking down to you, somebody abusing yeah. you. You, yeah. you. You become so confused and diluted until you think that that you know you gotta but he loved me. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes, Lord. You just been just the same thing here. You, you're a victim. You've been manipulated to confuse what true love really is. So we learn from that that he he abused her to the degree that she lost her own self value. And I hope I'm talking to you today. After he finished attacking and abusing and assaulting her value, her self-worth, and can I say this? Let me get this straight right, right here. When I'm saying her, I'm using E, proxy for all mankind. So I'm just sticking true to the scripture. I'm not, I don't want you to take that this is only about women because Eve, if you read it, Adam called her Eve for she's the mother of all living. So Eve here represents the human race. So don't think that when I say her, I'm only talking about the woman. I'm talking about the man as well. But I'm staying true to the text by using her. But mother of all living, meaning that she represents humanity. Okay, so this is not about women or men. This is about human, humanity. So I'm going to clarify that so we know that I don't want about to miss it, misquote me and, and go say, say that this was about the pastor you know, saying a negative thing about women. And I think I saw something about that today. I don't know. Somebody, I think, misinterpreted God bless them. Amen, amen. You took it like I was saying it was, it was just a woman. I'm like, wow. Mm -hmm. Man, was, was I not clear? I'm going to be clear today. Don't, don't misquote me. Amen. After he finished abusing her in a low state, he utilized what we refer to as the power of suggestion, which is to suggest something. That means to plant false ideas. And in this case, the power of suggestion, he planted false ideas and misinformation. And we learned from that, you know, somebody suggests something, you know, you, 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 they are pointing your mind. They are directing your mind. And when a person has low self-esteem, the mind is more easily directed and misdirected. You are more gullible to be misled because we know from just just the definition that people with low esteem strive hard for social acceptability you just want to be included wow mm -hmm. so you will embrace stuff that you don't normally agree with right. because when you struggle with your esteem being socially acceptable mm -hmm. is very important and a lot of our young men and women are in jail today because their problem was not that they were bad, they, they were struggling with their esteem. And they end up socially being, wanting social acceptability, being with the wrong crowd. And end up getting in trouble because all they wanted to do was just 
kind of hang with the boys or the girls. They, they, they had no intentions to do wrong. It just, that's, you're easily, I was watching a, 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 